The story begins with the police attempting to get criminals to surrender, who have taken hostages in a building. The criminals rejects what the officer says. A police complains about someone being late. His co-worker tells him to look behind him. A man named Jade appears and says he heard everything he said. Jade moved at the speed of light and broke through the window. The criminal tells him to stop or he'll kill the hostage. Jade smiles and kills the hostage instead. The criminal is terrified. Jade gives an evil smile and says I can't believe you killed a hostage, I guess you really are trash. The criminals are furious and attempts to shoot him. Jade kills one leaving a hand mark in his face. In an instant Jade appears behind one of them and grabs his gun and shoots the hostages. Jade says now that the hostages are gone it's time for justice, he slaughtered them all like cattle. Atop a building we see a girl, who asks if Jade is her target, the man says once you kill him you'll finish your training. She jumped off the roof. Heroes follow a rule, if you can save the majority over the minority, the majority must be chosen, but one day this became twisted, a single person is sacrificed to save many. Heroes never faced consequences for any evil acts they commit whether it was an accident or just for fun. Those who were no different from villains all wore the hero's mask. Jade walks with two girls in each arm. He enters a building with two guards. The proto walks up to the entrance, a guard says something but Jade cannot understand, he extends his hand, she breaks it and flips him in the ground. The other guard rush towards her, she removes her shirt and blocks his attack, she moves behind him and uses the shirt to choke him, the other attacks with a knife, she kicks him in the head, his eyes turn white and he falls, she enters the building, as Jade tries to smooth talk the ladies, the proto appears behind him, with a blank expression he attacks her she blocks, as the ladies run away, in an instant the proto stab Jade hand with three kitchen utensils. Jade grits his teeth and his body begins to spark as he strikes a pose. The proto is a flashback of being surrounded in blood, holding the corpse of a dead person. A man in a wheelchair appears and asks if she wants revenge. Jade says yes, the man says how do you intend to find the one that killed your sister, she replied I'll kill them one by one. She charges towards Jade, and then pulls a knife from her collar, with two fingers Jade stops and breaks the knife. He counterattacks but the proto elbows his face. He stops it midway and gives her a punch to the face that sends her flying hitting the counter. Jade walks slowly and breaks shards off a table and throws it at her. The proto blocks with a stool. Jade cuts it in half. She grabs a fire extinguisher and attacks Jade. He punched the fire extinguisher and it blew up. He searches for the proto, who approaches him from behind, and kicks him in the chin. She disappears and she tries to take cover in the fog. Jade appears behind her and whispers in the proto ear. She turns to attack, and missed. Jade punch her and she falls, he sits on top of her, and punch her repeatedly. He breathes heavily with his hand cover in blood, he extends his hand and sparks of electricity follow, suddenly he feels an overwhelming sense of death. Jade grabs his hand with her eye glowing red, Jade gets some distance away, the proto says I think I get how your gift works. She tears out a lump of flesh from his neck, he screams and says were you playing with me, she responds was I not allowed to. He charges at her, gripping his shoulder. She hits him and he falls. His eyes slowly opens and he sees her walking towards him. His body begins to shake as he caresses self. Jade was then surrounded by corpses that tried to hold him down. Jade runs towards a window, smiling like a child. The proto then grabs his face. The proto says I hope you come back as a decent human being. Before smashing his head in the concrete, she stares at his body for a moment before leaving. The man in the wheelchair warns her that they'll come after her and they'll be stronger than Jade. She says I'm ready. She recollect the time, she made the decision to walk down this bloody path. At the scene of the crime an officer say Jade's successor has already been chosen, when he's not even buried yet, his partner says that's how they operate but the officer hopes it's someone normal, just at that moment someone knocks the door open and crawls in the floor, he grabs the corpse by the hair and place its head near his ear, and says I'll avenge you, while jumping his head in the floor. He licks his bloody palm and memories of the deceased floods his mind. He says I found her, the name of this man is Chaos. In the next scene the proto is workout showing us that artwork of a body, and the TV they talk about the hero clan who defeated the villains in an war, and tighten their grip in the world that is now basically under their thumb. Some time has passed since Jade was killed but there is no mention of him in the news, the question remains are they scared to show weakness or was he expendable? The proto takes a marker and cross out Jade picture in a board the is cover with other pictures. She enters a bar, a got changed she called the owner master, there is one person in the bar, with a devilish smile, the owner leaves to go into the inventory, chaos stares at the proto as he points a gun at the man's back. Blue light flashes and she appears in front of Chua's, she twists his arm and points a knife to his neck, 
Chuaz screams in pain, he tells the prota to calm down, he just came to talk but for someone who's going to kill him, she's cute. She tries to interrogate him, she brings the knife closer until his neck started bleeding. Chaos took up a cup of coffee and drank it while analyzing her moves, he then deciphered that she could steal powers. He tells her to put the knife away, and gives her a piece of paper and she should come alone. In an old city that has become nothing more than rumble, the proto walks the streets. She stops and searched for Chaos, she turns around, and stares him down, Chaos is impressed, he shoots at the prota, she sidesteps and dodges, she runs and breaks off a rear view mirror. She takes cover, and utilizing the mirror, she measure the trajectory and finds where he's shooting, she revealed a sliver ball and a slingshot but using the power of jade, she flings it, but Chaos dodge and comments and the destructive power of the steel ball. She used jade's lighting speed, Chaos aim for the prota but hears noise for the lower level. The proto rushes in, Chaos takes out his shotgun and shoots but the proto knocks it sideways, Chaos flips it and fires again, she knocks the gun again, he takes out a pistol, and she grabs it midway for the first time he stops smiling, the proto press his pressure point, and the ammo fell out, he stares at the gun for a moment then the proto headbutts him, she takes a large dagger and says hello, Chaos responds hello, she says go to hell. Chaos covers his face when suddenly hands appear from out of a wall. The prota slash at the hands but hit metal that was covering it. The figure rushed towards the prota, she grabs his hands and flips him but he lands in his feet. She kicks him in the gut, the name of this man is Viper. The prota says I thought you said we'd come alone, Chaos says forget about that, why aren't you using jade gift you can't write, does it have a cool down time, also Viper fights as well as me but with different methods. She punched Viper in the face, he knees her in the gut. She cough blood and falls but use Viper ability to escape. Chaos thinks all she needs is to physically touch to gain a person power. Viper says we need to get her that's why you call me and didn't alert the clan. Chaos agreed but says he has a bad feeling about her. What do you mean? He tells Viper not to worry. The prota hides behind a building coughing, feeling naive. She didn't think he would bring back up. Viper is skill and as a powerful gift so she has no choice but to kill Chaos first. Viper hears glass break and rushes to the scene. The prota then rush towards Chaos, he brings out the shotgun and fires a barrage of bullets that the prota blocks effortlessly. She throws a knife that hits his shoulder, he staggers as the prota grabs the knife and swing the knife at his neck but Viper nicks her in the face from being. She hits the ground, and from beneath it Viper grabs her throat and she starts to lose consciousness. From atop a building a girl says do I have to save her even if we have to clash with the heroes, a man responds she's a valuable asset. The prota pokes his eye in, and jumps out of the hold. She gives him a flying kick that he dodged then bullets pass through him that it's the prota. Chaos sticks his tongue out and laugh as he runs away. He goes behind a building and throws a grenade. The prota takes cover and Viper appears a kicks her in the face. He thinks I can see how she killed Jade. It's a good thing she's going to die now. He looks behind him and sees a tall guy. He says what the hell before being decapitated in one blow. Chaos hits his head in frustration. A blonde girl introduce themselves as villains.